Hello guys, I'm Roosevelt and in this video, I'll be showing you how I designed this flyer in Adobe Photoshop. So these are the resources that I used in designing this particular flyer over here. And a link to these resources will be in the description below. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So we we'll start by creating our own worksheet. So go to File, select New and let's create a new worksheet so let's give it a name happy new week happy new week like this now set the weight to 2000 pixels and set the height also to 2000 pixels leave the resolution to be 300 and then select create to create the worksheet so this is the which that will be designing our flare on and, but first let me just copy something from this flyer I'll press ctrl c to copy and ctrl shift v to paste in place so now the first thing to do is to import our models image and have the models image value i'll press ctrl a for selection ctrl c to copy go back to my main worksheet and press ctrl shift v to paste now right click and convert to smart object press ctrl t and let's resize our models image so select ok now what we'll be doing is we'll have to make a selection of our model over here so we'll do that by going to select and then click on select subject let's wait for photoshop to make the calculations for us so now photoshop has made the calculations for us now that we have the selection done let's refine it just a little bit so i'll select my quick selection tool over here increase my brush size just a little bit and then refine the selection i think photoshop has done a very good job so i'll go ahead and then press ctrl j to cut out the subject so we've cut out our subject over here right click on the models layer and then convert to smart object again now select this layer and let's import our pattern so I'll press Ctrl E for selection, Ctrl C to copy, then go back to my main worksheet, hold on Ctrl Shift and V to paste in place. Press Ctrl T again and let's resize our pattern image. I think this is okay. So after doing that, let's change its blend mode from normal to screen. So I think this is okay for us. So after changing the blend mode of our pattern to screen now, right click over here and select the rectangle to let's draw a rectangle. Something like this is okay. I think I'll have to push it up just a little bit. So something like this is okay. But then I want the rectangle to be on top of our models in this tool. I'll drag the rectangles layer on top of our models layer, just like this. So let's change the color of our rectangle. Double click here and let's set the color code to the color code of the rectangle to FB F4 EC. This is okay now click on ok over here let's select all the layers press ctrl g and let's group them and name them bg as in background this okay now let's add our text so i'll click here the type to select the type to now let's go with the word new week 
bring this, okay. But then I'll have to change the color. So I'll change the color to, um, let's go with the color code of CF622D. And select OK. Let's change the font to bottom black. So bottom black will be OK. And then let's change the font size to something like 60. Let's control and let's place our text in the middle like this. So let me push it down. Then this OK. And the text should all be in caps. So after writing our new request, let's add the happy on top. So it will be happy new week. I'll select my title again. Click here and type out the word happy. And click here to change the change everything to caps. Now, let's change the font. Let's go with bottom, but then we'll be going with the uh, bottom medium. I think this is okay. Now, let's change the font size to something like 14. And let's change this size to 3000. Yeah, that's okay. Then, let's change the color of the hat. Let's Give it a black color. So, with the help of my eyedropper tool, I'll just click here and pick the black color over there. So, select these two layers, and then let's align them well. I think this is okay. I'll just push them up a little bit. Now, let's go back to our reference layer. So, we've added our model. And then we've cut out the model, we've added the rectangle shape over here. We've also added the new week text. Now we are left with adding the logo, the 3D emoji, and then this side. Let's go back to our main worksheet. Now let's add the logo over here. And then before we add the logo, I would like to add guides. So I'll go to view guides and then select new guides so i think let's go with something like 200 so 200 by 200 will be okay and select now come over here right click and convert the logo to smart objects press ctrl c to copy it go back to the main rest that's the happy new week and then press Control V to paste the logo. Press Control T and let's resize the logo to something like this. Now, place the logo at the top left corner. Something like this. But then let's reduce the logo again. I think this is okay. Now we've been able to add our logo. So then the only things left will be the rectangle shape which was the which was the the happy new week message over here and then the 3d emoji so select the rectangle to the game but then before we select the rectangle to let's select these ones these two layers press ctrl g to pick them and then name them happy new week Now select the rectangle two and draw. Let's draw a rectangle. Something like this is okay. I think this is okay. Now you see this circle thing over here. Click and hold it, then drag it inside to have the outer part of our rectangle. I think this is okay. Now let's push it to the left side just a little bit. Okay, so now this is okay. But then let's change the color of our rectangle. So double click over here and let's give it a color code of CF622D and select OK. 
let's reduce it to opacity to like something like 70 percent i think that's okay and then let's add a stroke to the second rectangle that we've created so i click on fx then go to stroke another stroke let's change it from color to gradient and over here let's change the first color let's change the color code of the first color to okay let's change it to something like ef 9b 55 and click on ok double click here double click and let's change the color of the the color code of the second color to something like fef 0e4 and click on ok and ok again but let's change the let's set the stroke size to six i think that that will be fine then click on ok over here now let's add our how do you call it let's add our message our happy new week message over here so i'll select my word file and then copy this text go back to my photoshop spreadsheet select my type tool and then left click and hold and drag and i'll press ctrl v to paste it now we've pasted our text but then it's too big so what we do is we reduce the size to something like let's say six less prices then let's change the color click here and let's change the color to something like this now let's drag our text inside let's enlarge it let's enlarge the text so i'll enlarge it to something like this is okay and then let's change the font from gotham black to something like gotham medium will be okay for this one so gotham medium is okay now let's try and place our text in the middle of this rectangle so i'll select these two layers and then click here to align them it looks like our text is too big so i'll press ctrl t and then resize it down now let's push this up so the only thing left is to add some let's add a bar over here so i'll select my right angle to once again and then left click and hold and draw small rectangle line like this and let's set all the corners to something like 100 pesos so it, it will round out it will round the corners for us and then let's change the color so i'll double click here and with the help of the eyedropper to I'll click here to select the color. Select the text again, drag it down. And I think this is okay for us. So we can select these two layers, press Ctrl G to group them. Let's add this one too. Then let's give it a name, let's give it message. Let's change the group's name to message. Select this one, press Ctrl G, let's change the name to logo. So now we know that this group contains our logo, this group contains our message, this group contains the Happy New Week text, and then this contains the background. Now the only thing left is to add the emoji. So I have my emoji here. I'll select both the emoji and its shadow. Press Ctrl G to group it. Name it emoji. Now press Ctrl C to copy the group. Let's go back to our main worksheet. Press Ctrl Shift again to paste it in place. Now press Ctrl T and let's resize our emoji. So I think something like this is okay. Now let's place it at the left corner like this then let's enlarge it just a little bit 
I think this is okay for me. So I'll align it well. Okay, so this is okay. Okay, so guys, this is how to create this particular flyer in Adobe Photoshop. If you like this video and then you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Also, like, comment, and share with others.